Coach Mike, and welcome to Change Your Body Boot Camps 2016 Phase 8 Challenge Week. Today we're going to do challenge workout number two, and we have a special guest. Enter Julie L. Julie has been a boot camp client for a number of years now, and she's been filling her workout cards, which is a big deal, because each workout card has six per side that you got to do. So she's getting 12 workouts in four weeks. So that's something I really admire about you, because you're filling a workout card. And every time you fill a workout card, and you do it again and again, it compounds your results, and you get stronger and fitter faster. Another thing I admire about Julie is whenever she can't be here, she still works out. She either does the workout card or she does a challenge rocker, an old one, to keep her momentum going. And those are two awesome traits that are just super admirable because that's grit being practiced. Julie's also on a milestone birthday coming up, so you can figure out what that is. So if she can do it, you can do it. Now let's get started. So, sorry? Definitely. Definitely. Today is challenge workout number two. Complete as many rounds as you can in 20 minutes. The goal is to get 10, so 10 rounds in 20 minutes. We're gonna start off with core. Julie, you please go to your hands and knees. Now, for equipment and for this workout in general, if you ever need to pause the video, pause the video, okay? So for now, when I tell you the equipment, if you need to grab something, stop the video, go get it, and then come back. So, we need chairs. For push-ups and one leg squats, so if you have chairs, tables, sofa, sofa railing, sofa arms, ottomans, get something for push-ups and one leg squats. You need a band, you need a pair of dumbbells, we've got Julie's dumbbells, we've got my dumbbells. Dumbbell load today is 30 to 50 percent body weight. If you can't do that, go lighter so that you can do it. If you have ones, threes, fives, eights, um, get those two because we'll need them for trap races. Now I've got the medicine ball here because we're going to do a one leg squat to the medicine ball. If you don't have a medicine ball and you're strong enough to squat to a lower depth, the medicine ball is about 18 inches in diameter. So something just shorter than the bench to touch your butt to when you squat. The roller is for reverse crunches if you want to use the roller. You need a mat and you need a towel. So there's a few pieces of equipment. Again, chairs, band, towel, roller, dumbbells, a low box, and a mat. So pause the video if you need to. Otherwise, let's get going. Helen's got the timer. We're going to do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds to switch. I'm going to coach Julie. Julie's going to work her butt off, and we're going to do the best we can. Ready? Yeah. Literally. <laughs> okay, two leg bridge. Here we go, Julie. She's got her feet flat. Notice how her feet are flat, so your feet are going to be flat. You're pushing through your heels. Your toes are clawing the ground. Julie's got her chin tucked. She's got her ribs down and her pubic bone tilted up. She should feel her butt and her hamstrings. Okay, Julie, let's go left side plank. So you're going to do a side plank. If you have a wall, great, use it. If you don't, then don't use it. Okay, so level 1A. She's sliding up and down, washing this wall with her backside. How kind of her. I told you she was a good person. I admire her for that too. So A is bridges up and down. B is a hold. If you're not strong enough to hold, you do up and down. Okay, come on back, Julie. Now this is where the band comes in. If the bridges are too easy, you're going to take and put one loop on each foot. Sorry. It's okay. And then you're going to pull it on top of your hips. Okay? Again, her feet are flat. She's pushing through her heels. She's clawing through her toes. She's bridging. Notice how she feels the band stretch, and then she has to push through the stretch. Okay, bring your towel to the right side. All right. Now, level two, top leg up and down. Can you keep your knee locked, Julie? Lock this knee. 
Heal up. All right, now hold it. Lift it now. We'll come back. Okay, back to the bridges.
or a forward lunge like Julie. Okay, that's one round. Second round's coming up. Hang jump shrugs at first. Crush those dumbbells, stand tall. Heads pulled back. Very good. Good, Julie. Feel your hamstrings. Feel the balls of your feet. Okay, hang clean pull. This time, Julie, jump as hard as you can without leaving the ground. Shrug as hard as you can. Pull to your armpits. Good, freeze on your toes. Good, push your head through the ceiling. Great. Okay, power clean. This time, jump as high as you can. Shrug as hard as you can. Pull, catch. Good, Julie. She didn't grow up doing this. She decided to get better, to get stronger. Okay, Julie, open your feet. Feet your shoulders width apart. Feet point forward. Weights on your heels. And Julie, pull yourself down. Good, squeeze your butt. There you go. Shortest line from A to B. It's a straight line. Okay, hands by your side. Standing tall, you're almost there. Crush those dumbbells. Don't let them tilt forward. Crush them. Head pull back. Left foot first. Good, Julie, stay tall. Go. Explosive step back. All right, last one. You got three. Can you do three again. Go, Julie. Push. Nice. That's it, Julie. Stay tall. All right, Julie. Go ahead. Put your weights down. Well done. That's a good start. Okay, have some water. Next, we got the strength circuit. Now those are just warm-ups for this part. It's coming up next. Set your mat up. Bring your dumbbells to the head of your mat. Five seconds. five per side. So put your knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders. Every time she raises up, she's raising in this plane. So not here, not here, right in the middle. Now she's keeping her elbow locked, so no bend in the elbow. So don't raise it with a bent arm, straight arm. She's pulling from the shoulder as if she was scooping, she's scooping. Okay, turn onto your back. This one's a little bit loaded, grab that one. All right, hip lift, uh, straight leg, reverse crunches. This is level one, an alternate leg lower. If you know the progressions, you can do them. If you don't, go through them with us. She's gonna do five per side. She's keeping her low back flat. You see how she's got the dumbbell on the floor? That's hard. You might not want to do that. I mean, if you're tough, you can do it. If you're not tough, you don't have to do it. If your dumbbell's too heavy, you don't have to do it. All right, put it down, Julie. Please stand up. Next are push-ups, okay? So, we got a lot of levels for one-arm push-ups. She's gonna do level 1A, so this is a high incline push-up. She's going to do five reps. Okay, now she's going to spin up. She's going 
going to do five level one B push-ups, low incline. These are floor push-ups on level 1C. Good, Julie. Now you need way too many reps. She says four. She only has to do four. Okay. One leg squats to a medicine ball. If you can't do one leg squats to a medicine ball, you do one leg squats on a chair. If you can't do one leg squats on a chair, do one leg squats to a chair. If you can't do one leg squats to a chair, you do rear foot elevated split squats. This works on mobility, stability, strength, and balance. So that's what Julie's working on. Now the sheet says four per side. She's gonna do 10 for this level, okay? To make it more challenging, you can add dumbbells. These are 10 pounds. I would recommend somewhere between 3 and 10 pounds. You're not really looking to tire out your arms, you're just looking to have a counterbalance. magic number for Julie. <laughs> Look at her face. She says that around that number she starts to make faces. Julie, you make faces. I'm smiling. You're smiling? <laughs> Speaking of faces, this is very personal. I've got a really embarrassing personal story for you. Hands and knees, Julie. This time I want you to use a pin. So these pins are one pound. So put it in your right hand. Speaking of faces, she's going to do five reps. This is level two, a very light weight. It's one pound, so it's almost nothing, but because she has a long arm, it feels like something. My daughter finds her way into the bathroom when we're going to the bathroom. And she gets right in your face when you're doing like your private business, when you're going through those difficult points in the private business. She's right in your face and does the exact same face and it's so embarrassing. Get out of here, I need some privacy, go! She's two and she thinks it's the funniest thing on earth. And then when you get to the, to the paper, to the cleanup part, forget it, she thinks it's the best part. She's right in your face, doesn't know personal space about me, she's right there. <laughs> oh man. Vanessa, come get Vivi! All right, reverse crunches. This is level two. She's gonna do three reps of level three A. You're more than halfway. This is three B with a roller. You use a roller when you have the mobility to curl up. Um, you don't use a roller when you don't have the strength to curl up. That way you can kick. And level three C is a dead bug. You have the strength, you have the mobility. Now you're working on pelvic control. So while one leg goes out, can she keep her pelvis in neutral? Can she keep her legs in neutral? That's it. All right, back up. Push ups, Julie. Four, right, Mike? Four, Julie, just four. <laughs> Thanks for doing so many more. All right, so that's level one. She's doing level one B. Level two, our feet elevated. Not on the ball, but that's all I got right now. Two B is feet elevated, one leg. Okay, Julie, block two.
show them a goblet. I'll probably fall over. Just, just saying. <laughs> right. So, go ahead, continue with that. I'll talk to you. Okay. Hands on your So, again, one leg squats to a medicine ball. If you can't do the one leg squats, you do the rear foot elevated squats. This works on mobility and stability. Now, Julie's still working on the mobility. If her mobility was better and this felt easy, then we would add a weight and we would go goblet first. And then once she got good at that, then we would go two dumbbells. So a heavier load than the goblet split in half. So if this was 20 pounds, maybe she'd go 30 pounds, 15 in each hand. Level 2B. Stand on the bench. Squat down. Stand up. Squat down. Not good. Squat down. You have a minute left. Stand up. Four per side. Featured level, squat to a ball. Squat down, touch your butt, stand up. Okay, Julie. 30 seconds. So, Julie's on two full rounds. You choose the best level for you, okay? We got four on the core, two on the dumbbells, that's six, plus two here is eight. The challenge was ten. It's hard to do the ten. You know, it's really easy for the members to do ten because they don't have to do the levels. Julie was on her own. She would know what she was doing and she would just do it and we wouldn't have to do the extra talk. In any event, Julie. I lose time on that. You do lose time yeah, on the squat. Yeah. Everybody else is doing four reps. Right. That's fair. That's right. That's fair. <laughs> okay, so thank you. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Helen. You're welcome. You're welcome. No personal training session. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Comment below. Give Julie a shout out. Give her a high five. Tell her she did really great. And then share this video. Good luck. Hoorah.